Hello everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here, back in another video, hope you guys are doing amazing. So recently we just left off with another tutorial, and today in this tutorial we're going to be uh, starting off with a color changing Christmas tree. Now, um, some of you guys are probably wondering what, how we're doing this and what we're doing. Um, I personally am just going to say this right now, I use the uh, GUI from the last video, so it's this one right here. Um, if you know what I'm talking about for this one, but basically I'm going to be reusing this and just putting it for um, the tree. Now it's actually really simple and you guys can honestly just put this model into your game and do a few things. Or you can um, customize it how you like. Um, but first things first is if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Guys, it means so much to me and um, about 80% of you guys aren't subscribed, which is pretty sad, but... Don't worry about it, it's alright. Um, and also join the Discord because I do help out people that join that Discord server um, as much as possible. And we have helpers in there as well. But um, yeah, you guys. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to go in the description and look for a color changing Christmas tree model. You're going to grab this right here and you're basically going to click claim and it should say item own. Once you own it, then you're able to put this in your studio or you're able to download it right here. Um, but basically you're basically uh, going to go in here inventory, go to your toolbox inventory sorry and then you're gonna insert this so actually let's just get rid of this oh like that we're gonna open this and basically it's gonna say this you're good to click OK um, then of course what you're gonna be doing is uh, you can just move this how you like so I'm just gonna like move this down just a bit so it fits um, that should be good we're gonna grab this and ungroup it in workspace and then grab this and ungroup it in starter GUI there we go then what we're going to do is we're going to grab this part color change your GUI, hit a Dorney, and then make sure it's on that sign part. Um, after that, you're basically done. Um, it's already ready and made for you, but we're going to quickly take a look at the scripts real quick. So you don't need to really touch anything. Um, if you want to look at customizing this thing, like this sign part and the part, feel free to just go to the scale, move it around, you know, make it look good. Um, I didn't really spend time to do that. This is just like a cool, simple tutorial, um, but that's about it. Um, so we have the lights right here. The Christmas tree is by itself, so like this. And then we have the lights and the star. The lights, you can make more, do whatever you like. I just did little balls. Um, I actually think I grabbed this from a free model if I'm right. But they're just little lights. Don't need to worry about too much. Um, pretty simple. So that's about it. Then, of course, hey, let's look into the scripts. Pretty easy. Um, so what we're doing in here, I'll talk about this kind of mainly, is let's just say this first. So... Um, we got the neon tunnel. Um, I need to rename that, but don't worry about it. You just, we're looking in the workspace. We're checking for this, and we're going to the lights model right here. What we're doing is down here um, is the main script, so you don't really need to worry about too much. Um, for, we're making a new local variable called parts, and we're checking in the neon ch children. Um, and if it is a union operation, we're going to change the brick color. So wait one second. So basically, we're checking if it's a union or if it's a part in the model so basically we're checking in here if anything in here is a union which these are or if they're a part we're basically going to be checking that part stock brick color and we're going to be making a new brick color which is going to be the color that we choose from here um, I don't really want to explain too much in detail about these parts because these are just local functions. I guess I could just like say like we have all these new functions, the user input service, the mouse move and down and everything like that. But basically the main part right here is we're checking if it's a union or it's part and then we're changing the brick color. Um, and you can customize this to a lot of things like you can do a lot guys. But it's really cool. Um, but yeah, so I, I kind of just do that. And also I actually let's see here. I use the credit to the dev form right here. Um, you're going to look at that if you want. But yeah, guys, um, so let's quickly just click play here now, and we're actually going to go look at this. Um, hope you guys enjoy this video. video. Sorry, a little weird. <laughs> um, but if you guys want me to make a tutorial on one that's, like, really cool, like, there's, like, flashing and different colors and, like, one, 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 like, random, I think I'm going to be updating that soon here for another tutorial. But yeah, so really just the way you customize this is going to be what the color is going to change. So... When, as we're moving our thing around here, it's going to just change with it. So it's really nice. So let's say we want to do like a little pinky. A pink, sorry. Um, then that's going to be the color. So I thought this was just a cool addition. I know some people like these like kind of trees and think they're awesome. But um, yeah, so that's a nice little cool little Christmas tree. Um, I'd recommend putting this in your Christmas map. Uh, I hope you did enjoy that Christmas video. It was pretty fun to make. Um, I'm planning on making more buildings, tutorials, and just stuff like that. But um, yeah, you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Uh,